Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guy YouTube videos. If you like this video, please leave a like and even comment below. And if you like all my content, please hit the subscribe button. And why not click the bell icon for notifications too? That way you can see all my videos. Give me, give me the ball. Uh. Hey everybody. So this is an important video because people in my Patreon discord and people through the YouTube comments. And I don't think this is anyone doing anything malicious, but like the title says, people, the self experts are always, your lizard is too fat, your lizard is dehydrated, your lizard is starving, um, blah, 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 blah. And I don't think they really understand how you can accurately judge if your lizard is fat or not. I know I've made a video before on fat pads and on correct weights and things like that, but I think this one, I want to make it a little bit more easy in terms of where, just talking about where a lot of people go wrong. Now, this is going to be a spoiler alert. If you belong to like any Bearded Dragon Facebook group, your information is probably 99% wrong. The moderators in there are probably idiots who don't know anything. You know, sorry for being that harsh, but it's just the reality. Uh, I have yet to find one where the people in charge are anywhere competent. Not saying they don't exist, but let's call a spade a spade here. So I'm going to start with Simba, but we'll move on because to some other ones. This is important though, because Simba just had a lot of out time with me. He was out for about two hours. We were exercising and training the entire time. Then he ate eight super worms. Those were his treats during the training today to get him to do certain things. And then he came and I was giving him water out of his water bowl and he was drinking. So let's cover all of those things. So now why are we, let's, let's look at him first of all, and we're going to see he's very wide right now. Okay. Someone who didn't know, they might look at this and they might say, that's an overweight Savannah monitor. And if you don't know what you're looking for, absolutely. But let's take these things in stride. So he just ate and he just drank. So we know there's going to be a little bit of bloatiness, right? Food in the stomach, water in the stomach. But that's actually not what's going on here. I'm going to tell you he looked like this the entire time. So what is this? Well, this is the first thing. He was out for hours. Okay. He's out in my home. My home is about 73, 74-ish degrees, a little bit cooler. Um, we were in the family room, you know, with the big sliding door. So it was probably close to 71, 72 so that's a cool temperature. So over that time, he does start to cool off, right? So why is he doing this? It's because he's basking. And that's why he looks like this. It's not that he's overweight. It's not that he just ate. It's not that he filled up with water. It's because he's basking. He wants to make himself as wide and as flat to make himself as, look, he's like, what are you talking about me being wide? To cover his body to be as much on the hot heat mat here. This is like 110 degrees. To, to warm himself up. He's a little cool. And you guys may see this during the day. You may take a picture of your reptile like I would now. Here's Simba. In fact, let me snap this picture right here. Snap. And they may say, wow, he's overweight. You know, you're going to post this on Facebook and you're going to be like, just got done having a great time with my Savannah monitor being out. And they're going to say, your Savannah monitor is fat. It's obese. It's dehydrated. Because look, there's, there's wrinkles here. He's dehydrated, even though he drinks so much water, it's beyond belief. Uh, hi. Hi. So we need to know what we're looking at when we look at our reptiles to know, are they really overweight? Are they underweight? And are they dehydrated? It's unfortunately, guys, it's not like it is with humans. The wrinkly skin, folds, creases, those don't mean those things. So Simba, we have to leave now, okay? We're going to go look at the bearded dragons, all right? But I just wanted to comment. I have a whole video on Savannah Monitor's weight and where they store their fat. A lot of it's right here and here. And notice these areas are very lean on him, not fat. What's this? This is air and this is water, okay? We'll go over. They have lungs like a bird, multiple chambers. Their lungs go all the way down, blah, 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 blah. So let's move on. So we're going to look at bearded dragons and specifically we're going to look at Johnny Cage because he was in the last YouTube short I made about pissing him off, getting rid of his nose shut, but kind of teasing him a little bit, but he also is a butt sometimes. And the first thing people say is, oh, he's, 
he's dehydrated or he's underfed. And they say that about all my dragons. Well, let me tell you, he just took a crap today in his water bowl and there's a giant urate in there. So he's not dehydrated because he's peeing and he's eating this. The, he's underfed. He's He's dehydrated because he, he has wrinkles. He has wrinkles on him. Oh, God. Guys, these little wrinkles here, they're not a sign to tell if your bearded dragon is dehydrated. Unfortunately, they're not. Um, he's pooping. He's peeing almost every day. He eats every single day. Every single day this guy eats. Uh, he has greens. Well, I shouldn't say greens. He has vegetables six days a week and bugs one day a week. He gets greens four days and he gets some other type of veggie two days squash or bell pepper or carrots so he's plenty full he's plenty hydrated he has no sunken in fat pads anywhere he looks really good but he's got some some wrinkles here yeah so what that's not a sign of dehydration dehydration we would be looking for really dry stools we'd be looking for sunken in eyes We'd be looking for massively sunken in fat pads in more than just one area because bearded dragons can store excess fat in multiple areas. So people will sometimes say, well, look at his head's fat pads. Okay, what if my head, what if his head fat pads were really sunken in, but his hip fat pads were really, really gorged? So he stores most of his fat there. Now, yes, most bearded dragons will store fat equally between the hips, the abdomen, and the top fat pads on the head. But not all. I would say it's probably a 70-30 split from what I've seen personally. So those are things we need to look at. So no, he's not dehydrated. He's not underfed. But just checking one fat pad area. Can you can you like calm down, put your head down? No? Are you just gonna be like up like that and in the way the whole the whole video? Okay. But this is why it's important because again, it's not people's ill will, right? It's it's the people on Facebook who are the, the experts. And these experts, they don't know. They don't know. And also, some bearded dragons don't eat as much. They don't drink as much. But guys, with all reptiles, remember, they don't sweat. They don't sweat, so they don't need a lot of water. So typically, just providing enough water in their food, they're good to go. But not always, and sometimes you need water. He has a giant water tub. He loves to soak. He loves to drink. It's probably why he pees so much is because he has a big thing he drinks from where my other bearded dragons don't pee nearly as much as him because they don't have water tubs because they don't use them. They don't drink from them. They don't soak from them. They don't like them, but he loves to swim. He loves to swim under the water. He soaks himself under the water and swims like crazy. It's all over the place, but to stay on course with this video, guys, it's really about knowing your lizard and if they are healthy or not. You can't look at this body right here with a wrinkle there and some wrinkles here, but fat pads like that and like that, and compare it to a picture of another bearded dragon and say, well, look at the other bearded dragon. The other one doesn't have wrinkles. He has wrinkles, so it must be underfed. You need to know your lizard. And also just taking a picture like this and sending it someplace to a Facebook group, they don't know this lizard. So they might tell me this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. How do they know that? Did they do any blood work and look at any blood results? Did they get a fecal and look at the results of those? Did they do any swabs, swabs of his mouth for mouth rot or anything and look at those results? No. They're going off a picture and comparing it to something else, and we don't even know if what they're comparing it to is accurate. Long story, Facebook, wrong. Most people, wrong. Know your reptile, know how they act, know how they've eaten throughout their whole life, and you'll typically be in a good spot. Take care, everybody. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.